it is whatever day it is, a couple days after the Orangeville Fair, and we got a pretty smashed up Sunfire. How was uh, the day of the Derby there? Pretty fantastic. Pretty hectic? Oh yeah. Extremely hectic? Yeah. Um, Scotty brought over a Dodge, and we went to go yeah, build the Dodge. Very good. Yeah, and uh, the Dodge just caused a whole bunch of problems. Uh, last minute, well, they were running trucks, so I had a couple weeks, went out and got a Suburban. And uh, it turns out that they don't run Suburbans. So it was just a complete uh, cluster, you can fill in the blanks, of running around and trying to find a truck in time. Uh, I managed to find an 05 Silverado. I uh, wasn't in the greatest shape. So the last couple weeks have just been uh, extremely hectic, hence why I haven't had the video done. But for the main highlight of this video is the Sunfire. The back end didn't exactly fare how I wanted it to, and I'll explain why. What happened was the trunk, it did fold down like normal GMs do. Um, and then in the build series, we did talk about uh, cutting out those those slits in the frame and jacking up the frame and, and pre-bending it that way. I never really got around to that, so it just kind of went uh, as pretty much how I left off the build series. So it is kind of hard to see, but down there it did bend at the notch. So it actually did bend where I initially wanted it to, and that's why it didn't drag the whole bumper on the ground. But it's split exactly where Sunfire is usually split. And that's right past this pillar here, as you can see. So she did bend down, but she never technically did plow. A little bit in that corner, once I lost the tire. And just completely bent the axle all to heck. This tire is pushed out a little bit and pushed into the door. And this tire here is actually still fairly straight. But judging by the paint, I'm pretty sure that I was making some hits with that tire. <laughs> The front end actually did fare fairly well. The front frame rail here did start to bend up and over. As you can see, it's not really exactly straight anymore. The rad did take a really nice hit. That's probably how I got that. I uh, I went pretty much end to end from the track and uh, ring shot at a car. And I think that's how I got most of my damage. The top of the rad and everything is still fairly straight. The rad saddle is good. It's just really that bottom has just bowed in. And you can see on that passenger side of the frame, it is actually a good distance from the from the belts and stuff. With the exception of that back end though, this car did surprisingly well. Well, I shouldn't say surprisingly well, but it, uh, it definitely stood its ground. I ended up getting third, and the whole reason for that was that car right there, my own teammate, came in and whacked me right there when I was still going forward. And with doing that, pushed the wheel somewhat back, it bent the, uh, bent the lower control arm. And like a typical Cavalier and Sunfire, the CV joint pulled out. And after that hit there, the car was still running and driving. I wouldn't say fine, but I uh, didn't have any reverse. Uh, whenever I tried to go in reverse, it just the whole steering wheel just shook and vibrated and uh, just made this awful grinding noise. So I was pretty much drive the whole rest of the way. And um, I couldn't really go too, too quick and drive or else it would just do the same thing and start to the steering wheel would shake and the CV joint was just holding on my threads. So I had to kind of put around and, uh, and try to take my time with everything. At first uh, we were both, you know, pedal to the metal, like uh, just completely going at it. What ended up happening to me is I got pushed into the corner and uh, I just couldn't really go, obviously I couldn't go backwards. Uh, so I, I just kind of tried my best and I couldn't really do anything. I had it in reverse, going nice and easy, kind of wiggling the wheel like this, trying to find a sweet spot somewhere that I can go. And uh, I just gave it a little bit too much throttle, and I just heard a big bang, and that was it. Third place, though, we didn't do bad. And we did come home with a first place car, so you always like to hear that. That technically concludes the Sunfire build series. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't really get any before the Derby videos. Like I said, it, it was just completely hectic around here uh, the last few days or so. On to the next one. Till next time, guys. Thumbs up, subscribe, do everything, tell everyone, and... Uh, don't forget, Derby on.